A propositional attitude is a mental state held by an agent toward a proposition. Propositional attitudes are often assumed to be the fundamental units of thought and their contents, being propositions, are true or false from the perspective of the person. An agent can have different propositional attitudes toward the same proposition e.g. S believes that her ice cream is cold. And S fears that her ice cream is cold. Linguistically, propositional attitudes are denoted by a verb e.g. believed, governing an embedded that clause, for example, Sally believed that she had won. Propositional attitudes have directions of fit, some are meant to reflect the world, others to influence it. Topic. Overview What sort of name shall we give to verbs like believe and wish and so forth? I should be inclined to call them propositional verbs. This is merely a suggested name for convenience, because they are verbs which have the form of relating an object to a proposition. As I have been explaining, that is not what they really do, but it is convenient to call them propositional verbs. Of course you might call them attitudes, but I should not like that because it is a psychological term, and although all the instances in our experience are psychological, there is no reason to suppose that all the verbs I am talking of are psychological. There is never any reason to suppose that sort of thing. Russell 1918, 227. What a proposition is, is one thing. How we feel about it, or how we regard it, is another. We can accept it, assert it, believe it, command it, contest it, declare it, deny it, doubt it, enjoin it, exclaim it, expect it. Different attitudes toward propositions are called propositional attitudes, and they are also discussed under the headings of intentionality and linguistic modality. Many problematic situations in real life arise from the circumstance that many different propositions in many different modalities are in the air at once. In order to compare propositions of different colors and flavors, as it were, we have no basis for comparison but to examine the underlying propositions themselves. Thus we are brought back to matters of language and logic. Despite the name, propositional attitudes are not regarded as psychological attitudes proper, since the formal disciplines of linguistics and logic are concerned with nothing more concrete than what can be said in general about their formal properties and their patterns of interaction. One topic of central concern is the relation between the modalities of assertion and belief, perhaps with intention thrown in for good measure. For example, we frequently find ourselves faced with the question of whether or not a person's assertions conform to his or her beliefs. Discrepancies here can occur for many reasons, but when the departure of assertion from belief is intentional, we usually call that a lie. Other comparisons of multiple modalities that frequently arise are the relationships between belief and knowledge and the discrepancies that occur among observations, expectations, and intentions. Deviations of observations from expectations are commonly perceived as surprises, phenomena that call for explanations to reduce the shock of amazement. A number of software systems are now available to simulate propositional attitudes for industrial purposes, for customer relation management systems, decision support and content generation Galitsky 2012. Topic Issues in logic, the formal properties of verbs like assert, believe, command, consider, deny, doubt, imagine, judge, know, want, wish, and a host of others that involve attitudes or intentions toward propositions are notorious for their recalcitrance to analysis, Quine 1956. Topic indiscernibility of identicals One of the fundamental principles governing identity is that of substitutivity, also known as fungibility, or, as it might well be called, that of indiscernibility of identicals. It provides that, given a true statement of identity, one of its two terms may be substituted for the other in any true statement and the result will be true. It is easy to find cases contrary to this principle. For example, the statements, are true, however, replacement of the name Giorgione by the name Barbarelli turns, too, into the falsehood. Quine's example here refers to Giorgio Barbarelli's sobriquet Giorgione, an Italian name roughly glossed as Big George. The basis of the paradox here is that while the two names signify the same individual the meaning of the first statement, the names are not themselves identical. The second statement refers to an attribute origin that they do not share. See also use mention distinction. 
Topic see also Accessibility Relation Affect Linguistics Attitude Belief Disposition Habit Intentionality Knowledge Qualia Self-Fulfilling Prophecy Truth Topic Bibliography Topic Footnotes Topic Notes Topic Bibliography Aubrey, J. and Aubrey, S. 1995, Interpretation as Action, The Risk of Inquiry, Inquiry, Critical Thinking Across the Disciplines 15, 40-52. Cresswell, M. J. Structured Meanings. The Semantics of Propositional Attitudes. MIT Press, Cambridge and London 1985. Quine, W. V. 1956, Quantifiers and Propositional Attitudes, Journal of Philosophy 53 1956. Reprinted, pp. 185-196 in Quine 1976, Ways of Paradox. Quine, W. V. 1976, The Ways of Paradox, and Other Essays, 1st edition, 1966. Revised and Enlarged Edition, Harvard University Press, Cambridge, Massachusetts, 1976. Quine, W. V. 1980, From a Logical Point of View, Logico-Philosophical Essays, 2nd edition, Harvard University Press, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Quine, W. V. 1980b, Reference and Modality, pp. 139-159 in Quine, 1980, from a logical point of view. Ramsey, F. P. 1927, Facts and Propositions, Aristotelian Society Supplementary Vol. 7, 153-170. Reprinted, pp. 34-51 in F.P. Ramsey, Philosophical Papers, David Hugh Meller, ed., Cambridge University Press, Cambridge, UK, 1990. Ramsey, F.P., 1990, Philosophical Papers, David Hugh Meller, ed., Cambridge University Press, Cambridge, UK. Runes, Dagobert D., ed., Dictionary of Philosophy, Littlefield, Adams, and Company, Totowa, N.J., 1962. Russell, Bertrand 1912, The Problems of Philosophy, first published 1912. Reprinted, Galaxy Book, Oxford University Press, New York, New York, 1959. Reprinted, Prometheus Books, Buffalo, New York, 1988. Russell, Bertrand 1918, The Philosophy of Logical Atomism. The Monist, 1918. Reprinted, pp. 177-281 in Logic and Knowledge, Essays 1901-1950, Robert Charles Marsh, ed., Onwin Hyman, London, UK, 1956. Reprinted, pp. 35-155 in The Philosophy of Logical Atomism, David Pears, ed., Open Court, La Salle, Ill, 1985. Russell, Bertrand 1956, Logic and Knowledge, Essays 1901-1950, Robert Charles Marsh, ed., Onwin Hyman, London, UK, 1956. Reprinted, Routledge, London, UK, 1992. Russell, Bertrand 1985, The Philosophy of Logical Atomism, David Pears, ed., Open Court, La Salle, Ill. Galitsky, Boris 2012, Exhaustive Simulation of Consecutive Mental States of Human Agents, Knowledge-Based Systems Topic. External links Media related to propositional attitudes at Wikimedia Commons